My daughter loves decorating her room. I recently painted it in a pink and white because she loves this kawaii aesthetic. She's been asking me for a while now to make over her nightstand with a kawaii theme. So I took her to the thrift shop and she got to pick one. And she picked this nightstand right here. She thought this would be the best for this project. When I got home, I thoroughly cleaned the piece and I used sticks. It's an adhesive primer on the piece because this is a laminated piece and it's really, really shiny. So if I don't use an adhesive primer on it, my paint's not gonna stick. It'll end up chipping and peeling in the future and we'll have a mess. So if you're painting anything shiny, just be sure you're using an adhesive primer first. I used two coats on it. I waited two hours in between the coats and then a whole 24 hours before applying my paint. Now, when I was getting ready to paint, I realized I don't really understand what kawaii is. So I turned to Google and I looked up what is kawaii. Turns out in Japanese pop culture, kawaii is everything cute and they celebrate everything adorable. There are a ton of really cute little characters and I notice patterns of pinks and whites and strawberries, lots of strawberries in kawaii. Um, so I started to paint the piece with pinks and whites. And then I realized I even had this um, strawberry transfer from uh, Dixie Bell's Bells and Whistles line. So I cut out the little strawberries, I removed the backing paper, I stuck them on the piece like a sticker, and then I used the tool they provided to start rubbing them on. When I was doing my Google research on kawaii, I realized that Hello Kitty is actually kawaii. And you know, same old Hello Kitty we know from the 1970s. And then that made me jump down this rabbit hole of all these Sanrio characters who are kawaii. I asked my daughter, which is your favorite? And pick one of the characters and I will draw it and put it on the nightstand. And she said, she loves my melody. So this is a cool idea and everything, right? Um, I'm gonna be the cool mom to draw an awesome picture on my daughter's nightstand. <laughs> Turns out, I don't really know how to draw. So of course, what does anyone do? When they don't know how to do something, I jump on YouTube and I say how to draw my melody, Sanrio, and all of these tutorials come up. And it's pretty awesome. And I'm like, oh, I got this. I totally got this. But drawing on a piece of paper and sketching something out is completely different <laughs> than drawing something on your furniture. So I keep going and I'm like, you know, maybe I could paint it on there. So then I start looking up like how to paint, you know? I come across this channel with this artist, uh, just a great artist. And one of his videos is titled like the secrets of artists. <laughs> and one of the secrets was that, you know, just because you love painting, does not mean you love drawing? So some artists don't want to sit there and sketch things out for hours and hours, hours before they can paint. They just want to paint. And that's kind of how I felt about it. Like this is going to take me forever. So, what do they do? They use a projector. They get their image or maybe something old that they drew or whatever, and they put it on a computer or their phone, and then they use a projector they, to project the image onto their canvas. And in our case, our canvas is going to be the furniture. I just use the cords that they provide, that they sent me. Um, I hook it up to my computer and voila, all I have to do is trace this thing with a pencil.
and then paint it in. This is my first time using the projector, you know, on furniture. I don't know where this is going to lead, but I feel like it's definitely going to lead to doing more projects like this in the future. I'm just completely blown away. This is a tool that like real artists use all the time and people who do murals. And I mean, I know you guys are probably like, duh, but I didn't know. I think this is a really good tool to have in our tool belt along with all the other furniture painting tools. If you want to see more like this, let me know. And let's go back to the piece. Here is the before and here it is today. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments and if you enjoyed this video um, and you want to see more and you're not subscribed hit that subscribe button if you liked it let me know and i will see you guys next time bye